number 63. When being burned, a writable... Burned? Well, I haven't heard that in a while. A writable CDR drive, the angular speed of a CD varies to keep the linear speed constant where the disc is being written. When writing along the outer edge of the disc, the angular speed of one drive is about 4,800 revolutions per minute. Find the linear speed if the CD has a diameter of 120 uh, millimeters. So uh, basically, pretend that you are on a CD, okay? And the CD has, and by the way, for the it, it's a disc for all you young people out there. The diameter of this particular disc is going to be, as they mentioned, 120 millimeters. Now, I'm going to write in the units here, but I'm basically going to leave them out for the entire calculation. Just keep in mind that they're millimeters. Now, imagine you are on the edge of this disc, okay? And pretend the disc rotates around one time, meaning it makes one revolution. The question I have for you is how far would you have traveled? In other words, how far did this dot actually move? What's the linear distance? How do we find that? Well, what's that actually called? What's the length of this outside part of a circle called? Right? I bet you never thought about it that way, but that's the circumference, right? So to find the circumference, let me outline it. So to find that circumference there, we can use our formula. Circumference of a circle is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter. Now it turns out that we do know the diameter. It's 120 millimeters. And therefore, I can simply plug in 120 and that's it. The circumference is this. The circumference is 120 pi millimeters. Okay? Remember, the circumference is just the length of the outermost edge of a circle. Right? If you know the diameter of that circle, that's what the circumference is. So, and remember, this number pi is a, you know, it's a it's 3.14159, right? So to get an idea, this is a real number, right? Take out the calculator, just plug it in, 120 times then pi, right? Hit second pi. So it looks like it's about 377 millimeters, okay? I'm going to leave it in terms of the exact number here. So let's now give, how did the 8 get there? Okay. Uh, how did the 8 get there again? Oops, there we go. All right, so now, um, now that we know the length, okay, we have to figure out how far does it travel if it makes now 4,800 revolutions every single minute. Well, actually, not how far does it travel, but we, we want to find its now linear speed, okay? In other words, we know that it's going to be 4,800 revolutions, I'll abbreviate REV, every single minute. And what I want to find is I want to somehow find, I don't know, millimeters? Per minute, this is a linear distance. Linear because it's meters. It's a linear measurement. Revolutions is an angular measurement. It tells you how many times you're going around per minute. This is telling you how far you're going linearly in a minute. Okay? So the idea is convert revolutions into minutes. Okay? So how are we going to approach that? Well, all we simply do, take the given, the 4,800 revolutions per minute, and simply now set up your conversion. Remember, whatever unit you're starting with on the top here that you want to cancel, you got to put that unit on the bottom, revolutions. And whatever you want to convert to, uh, you put on the top. Then you have to ask yourself, do you know a relationship between these two units? Meaning, do you know how many revolutions there are in a millimeter? Or do you know how many millimeters there are in a revolution? You know that. That's the purpose of this. This is telling you that 120 pi millimeters is equivalent to one revolution, or there are 120 pi millimeters in one revolution. Now notice how beautifully this math will cancel the revolutions, right? And then you just plug it into the calculator, okay? So take your 4800, 4800, and then multiply it by the 120 pi, or you can just take that answer that's already in your calculator. So hit second answer, It'll plug that 376.999, whatever. And that's your answer now. Okay? So, here we go. So it's going to be, I guess we could put in scientific notation, right? 1.8, 1 1.81 maybe, or 1.8 is fine, times 10 now to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? 6, or 1.8 million, basically 
millimeters per minute. That would be a linear speed. Now, do you need it in millimeters per minute? Do you want it in meters per second or whatever? Problem doesn't say. So that should be an acceptable answer. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If this helped you out at all, like and subscribe. Definitely helps us out tremendously. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.